All right, boys and girls. Time to do the Rebellion of Melis. The remaster. I walked downstairs the next morning in a daze. The battle of the previous night was fresh in my mind, and it chilled my blood. I whirled around and found myself staring straight into my father's eyes. Nothing shakes the ghosts of battle like a fine That's a... Uh, that's Come pretty sit down to creepy. A meal and I shall tell you of the rebellion of Melus. The sun shone onto my father's gaunt face. He had a head of thick gray hair, and his limbs remained strong from years as a sailor and a soldier. I have donned mail since the year 1005, when I was but a lad in the service of Melus, the highest ranking nobleman in the city. Ambitious and eager to prove myself, I soon became his best man. Melus was passionate, but his withdrawn, stealthy manner began to stir my distrust. When he invited all manner of mercenary troops into our beautiful city, I began to fear the worst. Uh oh, Spaghettio. Escape from Bari through the Western Gates as quickly as possible. Uh, we can reach the Imperial Age, but have a pop loan of 150. We can construct fishing ships, but not uh, war vessels. We have to escape. Um, even if you're in a hurry, you should not forget that the shortest route is not necessarily the safest. Okay, so Bari, Melus has all the power. And we have to flee! Uh, to the west is Capua, which is blue. To the south is Potenza, which is cyan. And it's richer than Capua. Captain Nauticus, Melus's mercenaries I, I, have seized the city and battle, slain the garrison. We should flee west Argo. to our allies and prepare a counterattack. So yeah, Bari is Bari is mine now. Battle. Kill all of the Byzantine Argo. scum. I. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I forgot we got such a big army. So this one is, is fair. It's very much like. Send out scouting parties and find Mikhail Nauticus. I want him alive. Like, it's. It's definitely like based off of the old one. Which, in my opinion, was like one of the hardest scenarios back in HD. But they, they did change it. I think it is definitely easier than it used to be. Like, you can now, like, get to the Imperial Age. But you are still up against infinite unit spam. And your enemies are pretty much all Goths. And we are going to try and make our way over to uh, Potenza. Because we're bold and brave and stuff. Now, if I recall correctly, the Lombard Revels, which will be our primary enemy, um, are kind of scattered around in camps surrounding Bari. So we're just going to try and steer clear of those. Not to say this is now a, you know, a cakewalk of a scenario. This is still a hard scenario, but it's much, much more manageable. Whoa, 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 back up the proverbial truck. Anyway, you can see we do have quite the healthy sized army right now. Oh yeah, this is like where we don't want to go right now. To the Lombard Rebels. Again, it's kind of one of those situations where you have like a gray player who is more or less just a dummy enemy and it's just a bunch of scattered and enemy troops around the map that you have to take out. The hardest part of the scenario is definitely, well, once we get to Capua, or not Capua, Potenza, uh, the early game. 
like defending at that point because you don't have that many resources and they start attacking you with Imperial Age units in uh, not too long a time span. Thankfully, Michael doesn't need to survive because he has like really crappy stats. He's actually has worse armor than a normal long swordsman. The same attack and just, you know, a bit more HP. Well, I mean, over double the HP, but still not that much in the grand scheme of things. It's like a really underwhelming hero unit. <laughs> Oops. I'll let that 9th L do a bajillion damage. Anyway, if you want to go to Capua, which is the safer of the two options, I suppose, because it is also further away from Melis, um, you can just go right up there. But if you want to make the journey to Potenza, it's a little bit of more of a hike. But I believe you get more resources. Actually, wait a minute, are there no more enemies between here and... I guess not. So yeah, just go to Potenza. They have more stuff to give you, I, I guess. Yeah, monk with the relic. Uh, anyone gonna send some villagers over to that away? You think that your allies will keep you safe? My men will fall on you like lions on sheep. You do that, man. So yeah, we definitely have a, a decent amount of resources, all things considered. Captain, our scouts reported Melus's mercenaries have seized the town of Capua. We must reclaim it and swiftly, lest we be surrounded by foes on all sides. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, the, the city that you don't go to is going to be overtaken by enemies, like, instantly. So just, you know, keep that in mind. There's nothing you can do to stop it. So we're just going to go up to three TCs. Need to go down to stone right away, because you, you get attacked fairly quickly, as I recall. <laughs> And kind of need to rely on the power of castles and walls to defend yourself, lest you, uh, you know, die. Actually, let's send these sheepers over here, because we need these guys to be lumberjacks. Get a lumber camp over there. I suppose I should send out a random scouting unit. Yeah, like I said, definitely need some uh, some castles and whatnot. Oh, yeah, I remember I put the castle right here on this little hill, and that was really helpful. But yeah, definitely, uh, if you guys do play this scenario and you go the route where you uh, take Capua, Cap Capua, uh, let me know in the comments, like, how different an experience that is compared to the Potenza route that I'm doing here. Oh, whoops. But yeah, you can see that they are in Imperial Age. And it's like, yeah, you have a decent amount of resources to start with, but you don't have that many villagers. Your army, again, is like decent, but not, it's not Imperial strong. Oh yeah, you also have like this random little area to the south where you can make a bunch of fishing ships. I mean, not that many. I mean, I think six is a good number. Because, you know, you run out pretty, pretty quickly. Also, I don't think it's worth rushing out upgrades because a good amount of your units come from uh, Gaia. And therefore, do not benefit from the upgrades. But even though this is technically, like, the richer city, uh, you can see that it's not really that well-equipped. It has zero military buildings. <laughs> Just a blacksmith market, university, monastery. Uh, 
Oh, perfect. And I'm going to castle up over here. This is definitely a scenario in, in which we will be relying on cataphract power since we are up against Goths. Should be getting attacked like really soon. Oh yeah, that's right. As well, let's get some walls up over here. Like yes, Potenza has walls, but they're not super beneficial in terms of giving us lots of resources. You can see there's no good lumber camp spots in here. I have to venture outside the city, which is why I put the TC over here. Um, don't know why you decided to go idle right there. Get him! Perfect. I feel like I should be being attacked right now. Famous last words! Oh man, that <laughs> that was some perfect timing. But yeah, you can see that everything they make is bad against uh, cataphracts, because pretty much everything goths make is bad against cataphracts. But yeah, I mean, I guess they technically don't have a ton of Imperial Age upgrades, but it's it's still kind of kind of tricky. Let's see how much I can debate them with this cataphract. The more, the better. Pikemen still do get some bonus damage against Cataphracts. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need to abandon the vicinity. Definitely get some baits up over here. Don't want to defend on two fronts if we can avoid it. Also lose units needlessly. It's no more than we have to. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm building another bell. I have four food, please. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a no-no. You see what I mean, though, by uh, getting the stone defenses up right away? Kinda need that. Crazy idea. Attack. Uh, another problem. We have no more gold income. Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah, there is some gold we can take over this way. I, I, I never actually sent the cataphracts over, I'm brilliant. Oh, 
But yeah, definitely having these walls up here is quite nice. And then once we have a few more soldiers, we'll be able to push out, get another castle, take the rest of the gold and stone there, etc., etc. Uh, I don't remember if I ever took back Capua in my my first playthrough of this. I don't think they ever bothered me all that much. I mean, they're not bothering me now. Get out of all our upgrades. Get up to Imp soon. Definitely benefit from that cheaper Byzantine Imperial Age. Anyone who views my stream often knows what a big fan of Byzantines I am. Despite their... Notorious lack of the Bloodlines upgrade. Okay, that guy's back at full HP. Well, close enough. Um, no. No. But yeah, Cataphract plus Siege Ram, Trebuchet. Like, I really don't... I, I don't see the need to have any other, like, big component of my army other than Mass Cataphract. There we go. Imp on the way. So, just a little bit. Start getting those bad boys up and running. See, there's a bunch of gold up over here. Oh, well, I suppose I should keep it with that. Yeah, this does. This wasn't as bad as I remember. Maybe they, like in the last patch, they made it a bit easier? Because this is not too bad. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Lol! It's because Gray's here, too. With the, the random patrolling units. Attack? Please? Whatever. Whatever. Camp. Oh, yeah, you can see our score is already doing just fine. With that said, I'd like to get this castle up. If I can get this castle up, I would appreciate it. No, what, whatever. Here comes Melissa's garrison. Cataphract should help, or be able to do the lion's share of that. I do have murder holes. Have those rams kill that ram.
castle's obviously doing a ton of damage. I haven't gotten Bracer yet, but I did get Bodkin. And these guys don't have any blacksmith upgrades. Is that plus four? Hopefully that'll be coming in in just a second. There we go. Shelp versus the crossbowman. Getting our imp upgrades in, and we're looking good. Leak cataphract just need to grab logistica as soon as I can afford it. Again, we don't really need to take care of Melis's. What is it? Whoever has control of Capua right now, which is apparently Dash. Or these, even these rebels, we just need to focus on taking down uh, Melis and Barry. Barry. Uh, I'm not sure where some more stone is. I'd love to have more than two castles if possible. But you can see we're already pretty close to, to Bari at proper. Yeah, these guys really don't have the greatest upgrades in the world. Like, the only imp upgrades they have are two-handed swordsman and cavalier. At least as far as I can tell. Oh, here's some more stone. Play out these production buildings as they do have, you know, infinite resources. Well, not like infinite resources, but they will get tributed resources forever. Yeah, so I guess Orange is the one who we have to deal with. We got fully upgraded elite cataphracts, man. Ain't nothing you can do to stop us. Like, look at you with your post castle age upgrades. Oh, this is so much shorter and easier than back in the day. Like, back in the day, I forget what your pop limit was, but on HD. You're stuck in Castle Age. I think you get Capram, but other than that, you're pretty much stuck in the Castle Age. And they li literally have infinite units, uh, unit spam, like, you know, 40,000 score instantly spamming infinite post... And it's post Imp Goth. It's not, like, whatever this weird post Castle Age thing is that they're using right now. It's, like, full, legit post Imp. I 
I guess again I could try and focus down the production buildings, but I feel like it's just gonna be faster to do this. Unless any of these are like fire towers or something. Never say never. Disney taught us that, I think. I don't know. I never. I think that's High School Musical. I never really saw it. I guess I should probably focus down these production buildings. So I'm not sure... Maybe green is the one... Oh, wait. Green's the one who just has these random camps. Orange is the one who's here. And I guess yellow's the one who's over in Capua. Oh, rip that treb. Kind of actually doing a pretty annoying job of sniping my siege rams. killed a lot of their production at this point. Now let's not be dumb. At least no more than usual. I was wondering why my wood income seemed so stymied. I am right now. It's really not that bad. We take out the castle here, and then we have to take out the castle here, and then we're all done, Zos. Wait, why are you guys standing around? in just a second. <laughs> I guess that's what Yellow's been trying to do. Very useful. Oh! I forgot about that. Yeah! That seems good! So I guess if you're struggling still at this point, the 46 minute mark, uh, 2,000 gold. Oh, wait a minute. I, I forgot about this. We have freaking siege auditors and some more siege rams. And Gaia transport ships. Yay!
We only had to level most of Bari. <laughs> Got some horses over here in this island. Not really sure what the point of those are. Anyway, here's uh, here's Capua. I'm not really sure what. Yeah, definitely. Let me know what the the difference would be if you you chose that route as opposed to going down here to Potenza. Other than that, don't really think there's a whole lot going on in the map. Just as you can see, some various camps hither and or yon. But it doesn't really seem like it's all that important to take him out. My father stood up to tend the fire. 1011. It had been two years since I had stood in the courtyard of Melius's castle in Bari. With the rebel garrison defeated, Bari was once again in Byzantine hands. Unsurprisingly, the local catapult, or lord, asked me to remain that I had recruited. Most of Melius's family was captured and imprisoned, but Melius and his brother, Datus, were still at large in the countryside. The rebellion was far from over. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, here's the, uh, the much easier Rebellion of Melus. Yeah, definitely a little bit tricky, like right around here-ish, but we, we got her done. You know what? Yep, that will be Bari 2, the Rebellion of Melus. Next up will be number three, Lucens. So, hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.